Hey, Fire Signs. Welcome to your daily love reading for the 27th of January. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So these messages won't fit with y'all, so take what you want, leave what you don't, and check your other signs. All right. For good angels, what do our fire signs need to know for Sunday? Four of Swords. Whoa, those went flying. Hold on. Okay, I'm not going to take them because they landed on the floor and I don't know which direction they came out in. But just for your information, they're Four of Wands, Temperance, Princess of Cups, and Three of Pentacles. So we'll put them back in the deck. Let's try this again. Thank you. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Way too many. You guys must have a lot of stuff going on because a lot of cards are coming out at once. All right, those I am called to take. So, the Five of Wands and the Chariot for your person. They have. The Death card in reverse, the Ten of Pentacles, the Emperor in reverse. Let's get one more to even out the energy, please. Thank you. And the Princess of Cups in reverse. The outcome is the Seven of Swords in reverse. There's Temperance. Oh, well, we got three of the four cards. Wow. The Ten of Cups. One more to even out the energy, please. Thank you. And the Eight of Pentacles. Your guys' bottom of the deck and shared energy with your person is the Five of Cups in reverse. Clarified by the Empress. And the King of Wands in reverse. Your guys' overall theme of your reading is the moon. Deep, deep passion is what I just heard. Um, the moon isn't always about deceit and secrets. Um, a lot of times, or fear, a lot of times it has to do with a deep-seated passion. A uh, deep connection, not only to your partner, but to the universe. Um, you guys know it's a spiritual connection. You guys know that um, you guys are connected to the stars, the moon, and and um, much bigger things than what we have here on life, in life and uh, on earth, and that is what you are signified. This is all about a deep passion for somebody. Um, your guys' shared energy. Uh, this person either broke your heart or you broke theirs in the past, but um, either one of you are getting over that heartache. Um, moving on past the spilt cups and focusing now on bringing in that uh, two of cups love and being able to create something beautiful with somebody. Uh, some of you are finding that pregnancy is at your doorstep. Congratulations to those of you. But this is creating um, and birthing a beautiful new life for yourself and for whoever you bring in as a partner. This is being able to build and create and um, just really really move your life into a direction that um, it's meant to be. The breakup um, of this really um, flipped your guys' world upside down. You could have been dealing with somebody who was very controlling too. Um, things had to be their way or no way. And, um, and that really broke your heart because their way had to do with um, them uh, walking away for a while. You are being encouraged, fire signs, today to take the time to heal, to rest, to um, rejuvenate your soul again. You're very tired. You're not looking at things um, as a whole, and you need to heal your heart before you can move forward into a commitment with this person. You're growing very impatient because this person has made you wait for a very long time. Um, it feels like some of you have been waiting seven months. Um some of you have been without contact for seven weeks. Uh, 
but really this is just about you not wanting to wait any longer. Uh, <clears throat> you're having a lot of conflicts within, within yourself. Do I move on? Do I stay? Uh, you have a lot of options around you. So you're wondering, do I want to continue to wait and, uh, keep, uh, keep waiting for this person or do I want to move forward with somebody else and uh, you're really conflicted about that. But what needs to happen first as it was the first card out is you need to continue to heal. You're not quite there yet. Um, so make sure your broken heart, you are getting out of that depression um, period, but you still have some wounds that need some, some healing before you can move into this soulmate, this deep, passionate connection. The person that you are connected to, they are uh, needing to go through a spiritual transformation. They're um, holding back with this death card and um, trying to resist this change, uh, very fearful of their future without this family situation that they have had for a very long time, could be 10 years for some of them. But um, they're, they're scared to let go and scared to purge out the um, energy that is no longer meant for them because for a long time, this is all they've known. Um, this is coming to the end of the cycle, though, with uh, somebody that they have a family with because we can't keep death from happening. Um, if we don't do it ourselves, then our uh, beautiful universe steps in and with the tower and kind of pushes us into it. If you're connecting with an earth sign, especially, they all three are going through uh, purging and releasing and um, spiritual rebirths. Check out the February bi-weeklies for all three earth signs if you're connected to any of them. They're all pretty much the same reading. It was crazy, but different decks. But um, they are really feeling out of balance, out of control. They are trying to control the situation so much that it's spinning even faster out of control uh, because they're trying to hold off. And like I said over here, this person could have had to have it their way or no way. So it really broke your heart, but they're finding out that they don't control this. The universe does, um, and they feel even more out of control than ever. Um, and they're very fearful of moving forward. Uh, even though they want to be with you, they want to offer you this cup. They just, they can't right now. They don't know how. And, um, and it's not enough for this situation anyways. They have to love themselves first. They can't uh, give love without having love to give in the first place. So they really need to go within and allow this transformation to happen. Um, in your guys' outcome, though, it's absolutely gorgeous. You have the seven of swords in reverse. No longer putting up with deception from this person. This person could be offering you a minuscule offer of, well, you, we can still have sex. Um, I can't leave my family right now, but can we still see each other? You're not putting up with that anymore. You're putting a stop to it which is uh, beautiful because that is one of the uh, things that needs to happen. This third party uh, situation outside competition needs to be brought down to two people because the minute you put in more than two into the mix, it instantly throws everything out of balance and nothing's going to work out. So um, you are finding inner healing though. You are going within and, and healing yourself. You're finding balance again. Uh, you're deciding to no longer wait on this person and you are deciding to love yourself first. Archangel Michael is here, however, blessing this union of two cups. So even though you're separating right now, even though you're moving on in your own direction, uh, the two of you will always be connected and the two of you will come back together again. But the two of you both have to have your cups full in order for them to for that to happen. So continue to heal while they continue to move through their transformation so that by the time the two of you come together, both your cups are full and don't worry, they will be back because Archangel Michael is here blessing this union. The 10 of cups is also here. So have no fear. You will have that beautiful family life um, that is promised to you in this journey. But first some work has to be done. You could be connecting with a Virgo with the eight of pentacles there, but, um, some work has to be done. You have to move forward on your own journey. They have to find self-love. And the two of you have to do some work separate. But the, but the deep-seated passion that the two of you share will bring the two of you back together. So um, don't fear walking away that you two will never come back in to alignment because you will. And you will not come back into alignment until you do that. Because on this journey, we often have two separate paths of healing. We have to go on our own path to heal our own heart. They have to go on their own path to heal their own heart. 
to do their own work, you to do your own work. So when the two of you come together, you can be at this high vibration, um, the highest vibration um, in the whole deck. So you can create that beautiful life together, blessed by the angels. So your cards are all here. And that's so important because once the cards come out, whether they're in reverse, whether they're in the upright, that doesn't, that means that they're coming for you. If they're in the reverse, it just means they're not, not right now. There's some work to be done, but, um, this energy is going to come together. The two of you are going to come together within the next 10 weeks in union for this group of you is what I just heard. So, um, for, you know, the next two months, walk down your own path, heal that heart while they do the same. Um, the two cards that just came out for you guys is forgiving and learning. As you release and heal your past, you experience more love in your present moments. What And what was I just saying? You have to finish healing, have your own path of healing. And when you do, your love life will ascend to a higher level of commitment. I just said those two things. Once you do your healing, once they find self-love, this will come together with an engagement. So have no fear. Go down that journey. Take that journey on and start to forgive and learn because you can't come together until the two of you have done your healing. So like I said, continue to put in that work within the next eight to 10 weeks. I do see this group of you coming into union with your twin and your soulmate. So, all right, guys, I send you all healing, love, light, and God bless.